Good morning, Agustinians. It is indeed a great and beautiful day because God always assures us that whatever difficulties we are facing with, He will always be there. What we need is to pray to Him always. The Gospel today speaks about how we are to pray, how we are to give alms, and how we are to fast. Let us now listen to and reflect on the Gospel reading. Let us mark ourselves with the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Be careful not to parade your uprightness in public to attract attention. Otherwise, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win human admiration. In truth, I tell you, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right is doing. Your alms giving must be secret, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers, standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. In truth, I tell you, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, shut yourself in, and so pray to your Father who is in that secret place and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you are fasting, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They go about looking unsightly to let people know they are fasting. In truth, I tell you, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put sand on your head and wash your face, so that no one will know you are fasting except your Father who sees all that is done in secret, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord In this passage, Jesus outlines for us how we are to pray, give alms, and fast. These are the pillars to inner purification. These acts help us center ourselves on God rather than our own selves. The danger of these practices is if we turn it to benefit ourselves. It is our egos that often prevent us from establishing a good relationship with God. If we fast to impress others, give to charity in order to help ourselves, and pray in public to appear to be holy, we lose sight of the real purpose of these exercises, which is establishing a relationship with God. Let us now pray the prayer to Our Lady of Good Counsel. God of heavenly wisdom, you have given us Mary, Mother of Jesus, to be our guide and counselor. Grant that we may always seek her motherly help in this life, and so enjoy her blessed presence in the life to come. May the Holy Spirit fill us with reverence for God's creation and compassion for all God's children. May our labors of love on earth enhance the reign of God, and may God's gifts of faith and living hope prepare us for the fullness of the world to come. Amen. Our Mother of Good Counsel, Saint Monica, Saint Augustine, Lord, you have made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>